My family migration story starts with my grandfather, John Kahn, who came to Canada in the 1920s from a small village in China. He was the third son of Kan Chan Shi and Kan Sai Wang. His village is in Guangdong province in the south of China, very close to Hong Kong. It was also called Nam Tong Chun, Kong Fao Hung, number four district of Zhongshan County, Guangdong province, China. The Khan family ancestral home consisted of two concrete cat towers with a house in the middle. Here the family with seven children lived with their extended relatives. When my grandfather, John Khan, born in 1894, came to Canada in his 20s to work, he met and married my grandmother, Ada Wong, in 1921 in Victoria, BC. He was 27 years old and she was 20. My father, Harry Khan, was born in 1922 in Coquitlam, BC, and in 1923, his sister Winnie was born. When my father was just two years old, he, my aunt, and my grandmother were sent back to China, as was the custom, so that they could study Chinese culture and learn family life in the ancestral home. My grandfather remained in Canada to work in the shingle mills and sent money to China to support his family. So my father's first language was Chinese, and when he returned to Canada at age 13, he was the oldest child at Strathcona Elementary School's ESL program. These are my great-grandparents, Kan Chan Shi on the left and Kan Sai Wong on the right. I have never met my grandfather, my great grandfather, but my great grandmother came to Canada when she was 80 years old in 1949. At that time, she was the oldest woman to fly across the Pacific Ocean. My great grandparents had seven children. The first and second sons and the first daughter died in China. The third and fourth sons immigrated to Canada and settled in Vancouver. The fifth son and second daughter immigrated to the United States and the fifth son served in the U.S. Army and later settled with his sister in Nevada. This is the traditional family photo in China. It shows my great grandparents, my grandmother and my mother and my father and aunt, as well as my father's cousins and other relatives. But the backdrop is false. As can be seen in the left side, the photographer's error shows the real rural background. This is the family photo of my grandmother and grandfather, Ada and John Kahn. They had five children and my father was the eldest. Here, my father is dressed in his army uniform as the photo was taken just before he left for his military service. My father was a veteran of the Canadian Armed Forces. He served in Southeast Asia from 1943 to 1945 and held the rank of Sergeant with the Special Asia Intelligence Corp Force 136. He worked as a translator and interpreter. After his return from army service, he went back to the family village in China to visit the family and to search for a wife. He met my mother in Macau, and after a short courtship, they were married and returned to Canada in 1949. In the village, my widowed great-grandmother, at age 80, lived with extended family members as her children had already left China, immigrating to different parts of North America. Decided to bring my great-grandmother to Canada to be joined with her number three son and his family. Here, she is surrounded by her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren. Finally, the family has grown. My great-grandmother died at age 101. She was predeceased by my grandfather by five years. These are the descendants of her third son, John and Ada Kahn. 
They were all born in Canada. Many live and work in Canada and the United States. If my grandfather had not immigrated to Canada in the 1920s, we would not be here today.